it was the policy of keeping Africans in their place, which by 1965 made Rhodesia illegal in the eyes of the world. Bob wrote a song called Zimbabwe. Matthew Mashington of Zimbabwe. I and I liberate Zimbabwe. And when the song got to Zimbabwe, the freedom fighters embraced that as their anthem. They got their independence. Finally, they got their independence. And they sent representatives here to Jamaica to ask Bob to perform. They wanted him to come and when they, they, they saw the cost, they said they couldn't afford it. And so Bob Marley used his own money and shipped equipment, I think, from London to Zimbabwe. You had dignitaries from all over the world. Gabriel Mugabe do swear that I will well and truly serve Zimbabwe in the office of Minister of the Government. So help thee God. Midnight, the exact moment of independence. As Prince Charles, Governor Soames and hundreds of visiting heads of government and VIPs from around the world watched, the new flag was raised Robert Mugabe's government assumed power, and Zimbabwe was born. It was the first time anybody in Zimbabwe had heard anything like this. When the first song started, the 90,000 people outside who couldn't get in decided to come in. Men and people will fight you down when you see child light. Let me tell you if you're not... It was the Freedom Fighters heard Bob Marley inside the stadium and they are locked out, not being able to go in, and they just flat the fence. So being there, on stage, I remember I was the first person to smell something unusual. It was tear gas. There was this strange sensation that was burning our throats. And it felt as if we were going to die. We didn't know what it was. And we felt that we were going to leave Jamaica and come all the way to Zimbabwe to leave our kids and just die. So, Britta, Marcy and I, we ran off the stage. And the musicians were coming off one by one. But Bob was still in his element, and he, I guess he didn't even realize what was happening. That just opened my eyes to know that this man was ready to go down with his people. Whatever the reason was, Bob didn't run nowhere. So when we got back on stage with Bob, this is what Bob said to us. Now I know who are the true revolutionaries. And I think that was one of his highlights of a dream for him. He was at home. 